Hello, my name is Evan Lewis, and welcome back to Cincinnati Museum Center's Story Tree Time. This week's story tree is this tree. It's the giving tree. Well, it's not a physical tree per se. It is a very selfless tree, and I think it deserves more recognition than it got in that book. Neato. That's a good tree. All right, like always, before we do our story, we're going to do a quick breathing exercise. Sorry, it's thundering. It's storming outside. Ignore that. A quick breathing exercise. First, you're going to want to breathe in like you're surprised, like you just saw a bug or insect. And then you're going to breathe out like you've just realized that most bugs and insects are harmless to humans and play an important role in the local ecosystem. Okay, one more time. Breathe in. And out. I'm sure that was calming. This week, we're reading a fun book called Charlotte the Scientist is Squished. So without further ado, ignore the thunder. This book. Charlotte the Scientist is Squished. Written by Camille Andros. Illustrated by Brianne Farley. Charlotte was a serious scientist. Protective glasses, a lab coat, and a magnifying glass were her essential scientific equipment, plus a clipboard for important notes. Charlotte solved problems by conducting experiments that followed the scientific method. And Charlotte had a problem. She was squished. She was squished at the table, she was squished in the tub, and sometimes she was even squished on the toilet. It had become impossible to conduct her experiments. Her test tubes were taken, her beakers got broken, and her specimens were spoiled. Charlotte needed some space. Time to use the scientific method. Step one, ask a question. How can I get some space around here? Step two, form a hypothesis. Hypothesis. If I can get rid of my brothers and sisters, I will have room to be a real scientist. Step three, test the hypothesis. Experiment. She tried an experiment to make everyone disappear, but it didn't work. She tried another experiment to make herself disappear, but that didn't work either. If she was going to get some space, she would have to go there. Step four, make and record observations. Charlotte was no longer squished at the table. She was no longer squished in the tub and Charlotte could take as long as she wanted on the toilet. Space was splendid. Step five, draw conclusions. She had all the room she needed to conduct very important experiments using her protective glasses, lab coat, and magnifying glass. Her test tubes were tidy, her beakers looked brilliant, and her specimens were sparkling. Her hypothesis was correct. She finally had room to be a scientist. The only problem was there was no one to talk to at mealtime, no one to blow bubbles with in the tub. And what was Charlotte supposed to do when she ran out of toilet paper? Space was lonely. Back to step two. Form a new hypothesis. If I can have friends in space, then I won't be lonely. And I can be a real scientist. Time for more experiments. Charlotte tried chocolate, but it was too tempting. The balloons kept floating away. And robot bunnies were poor conversationalists. They got ruined in the bathtub and tangled in the toilet paper. Charlotte missed her family. She even missed being squished. So she tried one last experiment. And reached a new conclusion. Charlotte didn't need outer space. She just needed her own space. The end. Wasn't that fun? I bet you know a lot more about the scientific method and hypotheses and what it's like to live on the moon now.
uh, thank you for watching. Uh, for more story time videos, tune in every Wednesday at 11 a.m. on our Facebook page, as in the Cincinnati Museum Center Facebook page. Again, ignore the thunder. Uh, and until next time, I will see you around. Goodbye! For more videos and activities, make sure you visit our website, cincymuseum.org, and follow us on social media. Cincinnati Museum Center is a nonprofit organization which relies on ticket sale revenue to continue to operate, which is not currently an option for us. If you are in a position to donate, click the link in the description below and know that all of us at CMC are incredibly grateful for your support.